It's that time, that Home Depot time, Garden Center style. All right, and we got a look out over here. Nice colors, summer colors, fall colors. Let's go check it out. All right, so they have all the late summer annuals out front here, so let's check. Wow, these are doing phenomenal. Whoa, birds of paradise in here. <gasps> Look at that leaf, it is beautiful. That's a new leaf, freshly green. <gasps> Ooh, and this mandevilla vine coming out of it. Oh my, and you know what? These manda um, these mandevillas and these uh, plants right here are not winter hardy in my area. This is in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, by the way. So yeah, Pennsylvania, zone six. Um, but you could take this, this is a very common house plant too. So you could always take them inside for the winter. Uh, some geraniums, they just need to deadhead them a little bit. And for geraniums, it's pretty easy to deadhead. You just follow the, the spent bloom, the stem, all the way down to the bottom and you just kind of like pinch and twist. It comes off like that. And it will keep, uh, it will keep producing. So. This is kind of actually like therapeutic, <laughs> like doing this kind of stuff. It's low, um, low impact on the body maintenance for gardening. <laughs> look at that, cleaning it up already like, makes it look 100% better. And people are more inclined to buy it when they look better. It's all merchandising people, it's all in merchandising. All right, so now we have some small plants over here. Eight bucks, so interesting. And then a Sansevieria over here too. Some ferns, uh oh, man down, man down. Put you back up there, stay. And let's go over on this side, I really can't. Oh, this is nice, a white mandevilla with a, the majesty palm. Wow, look how great that looks. Those are 80 bucks. That's a little high for my taste. Especially this late in the season. But, because you could just buy these in the greenhouse. <laughs> I think probably for like 30 bucks. And then they sell the mandevillas, what, for like six, seven? So you do the math. There's some mandevillas right here. Oh, and we have some of these over here as well for eight bucks. Nice. I guess this is a banana leaf. Is this banana? Ooh. I think this is a banana one. Yeah, with that, that coloring on it. I had a banana tree last year and I was lied to. I was told that it would actually produce fruit, but they're like, oh, and then I came back. I'm like, yeah, it's not producing fruit. And they're like, oh, it'll take years for that to happen. It won't happen in your yard if they have to dig it up and, you know, bring it in for the bring it in for the uh, winter, which I have to do, obviously. So I was, I feel like I was scammed. All right, mandevilles are a win right now. They are, do, 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 do. thumbs up. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys saw my video on doing clearance uh, plants at Lowe's, and I was doing like the thumbs up or thumbs down and what to get. <laughs> that was a fun video. I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. All right, so what do we got over here? Some celosias. These are out of bloom now. But check these out. These are nice. They're just so weird, but they're a pretty color. They just kind of look like fingers. I don't know. It's very... Hmm, not florally. You know, like when I think of a flower, I think of a flower like this. This is just something odd but yet I'm very attracted to it. It's like the bad boy of plants, you know? Can't look, just not look away. Some vincas. Ooh, and marigolds. Look at the fluffy little marigolds. I love marigolds. Um, these are actually just 
really good for using like in the summer but they transition over very well into the fall and they get bushy kind of they look like a mum from far away some begonias and some tired planters yeah all right let's go to the next table we got some cannas here you know what they're beautiful like when they're in solid bloom like this right but i i see what people mean it's like it's an ugly plant once it like drops its stuff you know it's a high maintenance plant to keep like doing that um, what I mean by that is uh, pulling off the dead and stuff like that. Look at these gnarly, gnarly seed pods. <laughs> yeah, like this doesn't look bad right now. Not terrible, but eh, eh. and they're not cheap either. Usually, cannas. Let's see if I could find a price. I don't see any price on those pots either. Yeah, nice sunny color. I like the yellow. Look at these begonias. They're like loving life right now. Love that pink. I'm a, I'm a pink girl. I'm a white girl. Pink and white's beautiful. I mean, the red's nice too, but I don't, I don't dig red in the garden very much. But those are like <laughs> fabulous. Some leftover, I guess, pepper plants. Do they have peppers on them? Oh, they do. Yeah. I know I have some bell pepper plants that are starting to produce. I'm so excited for my own personal garden. Oh, oh, oh. Here's some gnarly annuals. Look at that. Let me get up close to that one. Look at that beautiful baby. i never seen something like that. What is it called? Proven Winners Super Bells. Holy smokes. That's neat. I like that. Very, very cool. What, $7? Jeez. I remember when they were like five. <laughs> but I kind of like that different colored one. It's different. Don't see that very often. All right. I like some star flowers, some bumblebee going at it. Hey, Bumble. That actually looks really nice, though. It has like open bloom, partially opened, and newly budded ones. That's a good, that's good. If you want to buy that, probably like 30 bucks or something. I can't see the tag. Oh, 30 bucks, yeah, well, 28 bucks. Beautiful annuals, petunias. Yeah, I wouldn't be getting pink right now just simply because it's just going into fall. I'm more of like a yellow person, yellow and purple this time of year. But they look really healthy and nice for being in these pots all season long. <laughs> oh, here's some Celosia too. Ah, it looks like something under the sea. Another sea. This would probably be really good for um, drying and well, it is good for drawing, I know that, but I wonder if I can make some gnarly wreaths out of it. I don't know. Look, this one, this one bent over, broke off. Hmm. Yeah, it's so feathery. It kind of reminds me of just feathers. Shake, shake, shake. Well, looks like we got some salvias over here. Those are the annual type of salvias. And look at these caladiums. This, though. Whoa, you baby, you are beautiful, Caladium. Oh, we got some fun colored ones, the little ones down there. Okay, I gotta move these, these are in my way here. Ooh. Ooh. I cannot reach over very well with those there. So we got some nice Caladium, look at that. Caladiums are beautiful. I know they have a nice pot mixture inside and we'll look at that too. Six bucks. Nice. Nice. Oh, and they got 
Oh, they got more on the other side, different kinds. All right, uh, we're gonna go over there. All right, yeah, they have this kind right here. I love this green uh, with that, or chartreuse. It's like a white with a char chartreuse green. Can I say that? Say that five times fast, right? Oh, but then they have this one here with the little speckles. What? Oh, and then this one with the dark veining. That is so beautiful. Caladiums love water. But I mean, that is just absolutely adorable. Six dollars, that is a steal. That is a steal. You could bring these in and use them as house plants too, guys. Just an FYI. Keep them out and get them nice and big and you can bring them inside for the winter. Over here we have some like lemon things, lime things. <laughs> uh, they took most of the, the vegetables away. That's fine. They'll have some of like the, the herbs, maybe some of the cold crops, kale, mint, the usual. Citronella, which smells so lemony and good. Oh, that does smell good. Mm. Maybe you should just like take one of these and like rub it all over yourself. So mosquitoes would be like, Ew, I'm not gonna go to her. I'm not gonna suck her blood. She stinks. Some peppers. A hot burrito. That's what it's called. Some people use these as like ornaments for fall. Too. I know that. I'm not crazy about it, but some jalapeno, yeah, just some peppers, some tomatoes left over. That's fun. Yep, and here's some peppers right here. Little bell peppers. Oh, one fell. But yeah, you can still plant these guys, especially if they're big. Still plant them. Uh, like where I am, we have like two months left. So until we get like a hard freeze. Just saying. There's still time. Oh, look at this lemongrass color. Cool. I didn't know it got like the reds and, and yellows in it. I thought it just kind of stayed green. These plants are really stressed. Like grass does not like to be in pots. It needs to be in the ground. All right, well, anyway. Let's go inside the garden center and see what's good in the neighborhood. All right, this is what they have. Nice. Well, these are the caladiums, guys. Look at these caladiums. Aren't they absolutely stunning? Look at that. Oh, sorry. These are just stunning. I absolutely adore these. What are these, like 30 bucks maybe? 35. I guess there's some type of like a, a mix in there too. Unless it matures that way. Oh geez, am I popular? No, not really. Yeah, that's kind of neat, but I just, I like this. This is what I like. Coreopsis. It's native to the, um, where I am. Tons of powdery mildew on it though. And the same with this phlox. That looks atrocious. Ooh, that's powdery mildew, guys. Gnarly leaf for a corabel. Neat. Oh, oh, oh. This is a, this is a better Coreopsis right here. Look how stunning and ethereal that looks. <gasps> Beautiful, and it'll keep on blooming. It's already done with its first flush of blooms. So you have spent seed heads, but this is going into its second one. This is absolutely stunning. Stunning, only $20 for that big of a pot. That's a steal. That's a steal. I hope there's a few of these left um, towards like in the coming weeks because everything's gonna go like on sale. They want, they're gonna move this stuff. So hopefully I could get that. Here's an allium. Look, it has like more little buds on it. Sweet little blooms. Oh, That's nice. There's two of those as well, 20 bucks. Yeah, but those flocks stay away from that. That stuff will spread to other plants too. Like this one isn't as bad, but it's like 
it's forming on the leaves a little bit. Hmm. All right, let's, I'll go over stuff that wasn't out front. Ooh, let's see how these hydrangeas are. Looking a little tired, severe heat. We've been suffering with that. The nice pinky blooms, pinky pinky. All right, I noticed that they have a bunch of cacti and succulents out here from Smart Planet, and I'm going to do that tour when I do indoor um, house plants. I always forget that they have like this, these like random carts outside, but that'll be in the next video. I think all their shrubs are half off too. I'm sure you could probably get it if you wanted to. Juniper with the berries. Who doesn't love a little juniper? Anybody make gin? But what is over there is looking okay. It's, ooh, yeah. Ooh, look at this bromeliad. Isn't that wild when it gets sun stressed like that? It has some mealybugs over there, but... Oh, that looks cool. Look at that. <gasps> okay, I'm getting too excited. Too excited. There is a huge weed growing out of a bag of soil. Miracle grow. <laughs> Well, it's a miracle it's growing out of a bag. A plant is, that is. A plant is, that is. Did that make sense? All right. So, hitting up some of the evergreens, but this is a hibiscus, a hardy hibiscus. Beautiful, like, rows of Sharon blooms, but, like, ten socks times bigger. This doesn't look good. I would avoid getting stuff like this because I'm not sure if that spider mite damage or what. I believe it will be. Ooh, that's not good for the plants. Some cute hanging baskets. I love that color. That's kind of fall vibe too, even though it's like pinky. But I guess it's like the dark pink and the yellow that make it kind of work. It's almost purpley. Ooh, that's pretty. Pia. Cool. Hummingbirds would love this. Maybe I should get some from my yard. How much are these? Oh, they're only $10. That's reasonable. That's reasonable for the size. Perennials, of course. Rebeccias. Everybody loves a Rebeccia. Some more alliums. They're $25 though. This is the proven winners type. Hmm. Oh, and echinaceas. I can never get them to like come back. This these like gnarly colors, they always just come back pink. 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 Oh, but these are beautiful. Mm-hmm. arrangement here with some ferns and some photonia I think it is wow the polka dot plant that's a neat combination love the colors oh we have some Spanish lavender over here Spanish lavender never comes back for me oh I need to go to the lavender farm in my area I haven't been there yet this year I need to give you guys the annual tour there. I do it every year. The lavender I buy from the lavender farm comes back, but whenever I buy it from the big box store, it just doesn't. Beautiful. What kind of flowers are... Blanket flower. Blanket flower. There we go. And look, when, like, when, when the petals fall off, they have like these gnarly seed heads. Yeah, here's some more Coryopsis, just looks like it's tighter than the other one I saw, or that I showed you guys. Still gets tall, 12, you know, foot, foot and a half. Cool. Sedum, it's the time of the year for some sedum. These will turn like probably like a, a reddish maroon color in the fall. Actually, I did a video on like how to prune my, um, see them and stuff like that and that actually has been gaining traction so thank you very much for all those who have been watching that and hopefully you have enjoyed something <laughs> and learned 
What is this? A turtle head. It's not in bloom. What does it look like on the tag? Mmm, okay, interesting. Yeah, there's no blooms for that to show you. All right, here's some more hydrangeas over here. You know what, there's some places around where I go around and I, I, I cut them. They're like abandoned properties, like old mansions and stuff will have them, and they're like just abandoned. And I kind of go in and I do a little snippy snip and I'll make wreaths out of them and um, bouquets and stuff. Oh, look at that. That color combo, beautiful. This is like a soft pink one though. This is different. Oh, I love that. Yeah, here's some more. They're really floppy. Yeah, ooh, you're so beautiful. More shade plants, which is kind of interesting that they have shade plants right here. Because if you look above, okay, there's a shade cloth that kind of covers that whole area there. But the, yet they have the shade plants right along the edge where it would get a lot of sun. <laughs> like they need to switch tables with their sun loving plants. Oh, and check out this ajuga here. I'm a big fan of this kind of ajuga. Beautiful blue flowers that it produces too in the spring. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right, and over here we have some sun loving plants here this is so beautiful i love this it has that purple bloom that comes up like uh, they call it lily turf okay that's actually easier to remember but um nice variegated color and then they have like darker green one too so grasses 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 fall is coming up fall is when grasses really start to bloom put on their seed heads change colors and they're pretty they're pretty Oh, look at these seed heads, so whimsical. Oh, it's probably really hard to see in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and of course we got the roses. There are more flushes of roses. Lots of knockout roses. They're great roses, like for just one of the male landscaping, but there's no fragrance. No fragrance, they're pretty disease resistant too. I mean, come on, like they're beautiful. They produce beautiful flowers. Ooh, what is this over here? I'm liking this pinky one. Mmm. What? Oh, there's a fragrance. I love roses with some fragrance. Look, this is all like all butted up and everything. Yeah, this is the uh, s <laughs> Brindabella roses. Time to smell the roses. Oh, that's funny. Okay. I do smell them. And they smell fabulous. Fruity. I hope the background music isn't like super loud. Really don't want to get a copyright strike for it. Let's go back here. Uh, yeah. Oh, they have Lil' Kim, like the rap artist. Because of Sharon. Gosh, I'm showing my age, right? Like, 90s rap. Um, yeah, so this is it. So, oh, they're tiny. They're tiny, hence the name Lil. Little. Here's one that's more fully in bloom. But they're tiny. Cool. Some Budlias. Budlias smell good, too. They do. And there's, like, one lone Spirea here. Spirea is awesome. It's such a hardy shrub. It, it can go through a lot of stress and recuperate. Uh, fairly quickly and look at the new growth colors and th these shine in the spring and fall and they have pro they produce very very beautiful blooms very underused shrub guys if you can look into spireas all right here's the rose of Sharon it's more like traditional rose of Sharon not the little ones this is like a pure white one it's blowing out my camera but it's pure white. That's fun. And it's kind of a tree form. Oh, and there's this guy. He's just covered in pollen. He's like, ugh, I had too much to drink today. 
or he's just taking a rest. Let's take a look over here to see. Oh, oh, this stuff is beautiful. Okay, it's like seventy dollars. This is a um, a Perry. Oh yeah, the blooms are like lily of the valleys. That's the best way to describe it in the spring, and it's an evergreen. So those, I'll scoop those up if they go on clearance. What are they? Set? Yeah, they're seventy dollars. So. They're a bit expensive. Okay, so this, this one has more of like that pink coloring for the blooms, but there are some that have white, and the white is just fabulous, I think. Some Japanese maples. Uh, looks like we have some cis plums. Those are good for uh, the dark foliage, the ones there. Uh, looks like we have a flowering dogwood in there too. Huh. And they, uh, at the end we have a, a red bud, which is native. Yeah, who doesn't love a red bud in the spring? And plus it's multi-trunk. Multi-trunk. This one is losing its leaves. Like, I mean, it's, it's, it's dead. It's kind of just dead. What is this? Crab apple maybe? Yeah, crab apples. Or over there, they just got some hostas and clematises that are out of bloom now. So, anyway, if you liked what you saw, hit subscribe. I put out videos all the time uh, for the garden centers and my personal gardens and gardens that I visit. So, until then, bye.